Okay, you have what is going on guys, it is Fraxter here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be, sh I'll be showing you the best possible Minecraft video settings to get the best possible FPS to enjoy the latest version of Minecraft 1.15 on your basic or low end PC. And just, and just to let you guys know, I'm playing on a pretty basic laptop that is running on an integrated graphics card which matters most while playing on a, while playing a game. So yeah. I mean, I'm also not playing on the best processor as you can see on the top right corner and still I'm managing to get around 60 fps while I'm recording as you can see on the screen right now I'm, I even reached 100 plus fps when I was not recording and that's so amazing because even you guys can reach 100 plus fps because a lot of people are here not for recording purposes but to get high fps in minecraft so without further ado let's just get right into the video So guys we are in the video right now and as you guys see you can see I'm only getting around 30 FPS right now with not the best video settings in the whole world. So we are gonna work on the video settings. Of course this video is based on the video settings. So let's just get to the main part and open is open the video settings. Go in options into video settings and here is a part where you have to make most of the changes. Of course all the changes are to be the, are to be made here. So let's just start from the beginning, full screen resolution. I will tell it to you guys in the end of the video because this will change the resolution of your screen and that's why this uh, step should be performed in the end of setting up the whole, you know, all the settings. So let's start from biome blend. So uh, when two biomes are merging together, sometimes a color mix together, it's because of biome blend. And if you set it to high, it will be it will look more nice and if you set it to off it will look the worst but will give you the maximum fps that's why set it to off and afterwards graphics set it to fast smooth lighting it will depend on the lighting of the torches and everything 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 so set it to off to get the maximum possible fps use vsync so let me just tell you what is vsync quickly so for example the laptop i'm using right now has a 60 hertz uh, screen means it uh, and we say and if you turn vsync on it will cap the frame rate limit to the maximum refreshing rate limit of your uh, monitor that's why always turn vsync off and here GUI scale does not matter it will just change the size of this thing which will actually depend on the user preference it looked really weird when I uh, turned and changed the number to 4 and brightness it does not matter it will just make the uh, minecraft look bright or less bright of course it will help you in cave manning if you are you know if you don't have torture or something like that but nah it won't matter it won't affect your fps okay yeah that's what matters and of course this option should always be on full screen on because according to an operating system if a if an application if a particular application is on full screen a lot of resources are focused on that application that's why if for example if minecraft is on full screen a lot of the resources that the computer is actually using will give to minecraft and that's why minecraft will run better on full screen that's why always keep this option on mip lab levels does not matter i checked it does not uh, change the fps by a lot actually it does not affect my fps at all at all so that's that depends on user preference Ch keep it on anything and render distance by default it is on 8 let me just quickly tell you what is render distance so if i turn the render distance for to four chunks and press escape you will see that the range to what i can see decreased and if i move more stuff will be loaded okay yep as you can see yep see yeah, more stuff is loading in the far far direction and if i turn it to something like 32 a lot of things are gonna load it is still loading see it's still loading and it will of course take a lot of resources that's why always keep render distance to around 6 or if you're really struggling with FPS keep it to 4 and if you have no choice just keep it to 2 of course keeping it to 2 really you know uh, decrease the range but of course will drastically increase your uh, you know performance that's why keep it to 
as less as possible and let's get back to the video settings max frame rate keep it to unlimited view bobbing uh, view bobbing actually the setting does not change your any perform does not affect your performance let me just quickly tell you what it is if you are moving you can see that my sword is moving with me yep as you can see see and yep you can see even my hand is moving when i'm running and if you turn off view bobbing see what happens now my hand is not moving my sword is not moving when i'm running so it just depends on user preference if you want to keep view bobbing on or off in my preference i really like you know that small small movement that's why i'll keep it on and then attack indicator does not affect the performance at all just keep it on anything and now comes the part if you the clouds if you keep it on fancy the clouds will look okay it's really foggy right now so you cannot see the clouds so let me just tell you by words so if you keep the clouds this option on fancy the clouds will look 3d of course by 3d you can understand you know cubicle not cubicle but will look like you with the height length and breadth and all like that if you put keep it on off of course the clouds will not be there anymore but this option will give you the max possible fps and then if you keep it on fast the clouds will be there but it will be in 2d format means they will just be you know flat yeah flat flat clouds is the perfect word for this and this will give it's a, a bit effective effective performance by a bit but not by a lot that's why keeping it on keeping it on off is the best choice then particles off uh, oh i'm extremely sorry there's no option like off keep it on minimal or decreased if you're really struggling with fps keep it on minimal entity shadows so let me tell you what is entity shadows if you see right here let me get to a lighter block yeah as you see right here see there's a shadow underneath my character that's what you call entity shadow so keeping it on keeping it on off is the best possible choice so as you can see oh shit sorry i clicked, clicked something else we are reaching 60 fps 50 fps already and now one of the main uh, settings i'm now the current uh, screen resolution setting setting is is gonna be what we are gonna talk about go to video settings again now this is the settings which will affect your performance by a lot so my screen my screen format the resolution of my screen uh, currently is 1920 to 1080 at 60 hertz refreshing rate uh, if you just get it a bit right you will see the refreshing the current resolution of your screen it's the maximum and possible resolution your screen can reach so the best possible resolution to get the maximum fps and not affect the quality of you know minecraft by a lot uh, take it down to 1280 into 70 into 720 at 60 means at 60 hertz so this is the best thing so i'm currently holding the bar because if i leave the bar the video will just go boom the screen will this resolution of minecraft will change and not match the real resolution of my screen that's why the video will look really weird if as it will look small so i will have to uh, st reset my recording because of this so i'll just get back really quick Okay, okay you guys so now we are reaching that uh, now I changed the resolution of the game and my screen so now it is matching but it is still looking weird so all you have to do is, because of course everything looks so zoomed in all you have to do is, is go in options video settings and turn GU GUI scale change the uh, GUI scale to look what is what looks amazing better to you so at this resolution GUI scale 2 looks amazing and now we are officially reaching 60 FPS and without recording i'll again reach 600 f 100 plus fps so that's how you get a lot of high fps using the best possible minecraft video settings in the latest version of minecraft 1.15 so guys if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and even you know comment down below what highest fps you can uh, possibly reach with this with these video settings just to let me know if you want any help you can reach me in the comments down below and if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and to support me for future videos and goodbye and have a great time and i'll be back with another video